Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I will show to make this animation with After Effects. Let's get started. So friends, welcome back and for example, I will use these colors. Let's move to here and look layer. Then let's create first background layer. Right mouse, new and solid layer. Add the name, background, click OK and go to effects presets, search effect field let's use field for solid layer and let's move to behind go to airdrop icon let's select this background color clearization tool and go to shape layers hold this icon, let's create rectangle tool or let's use rounded rectangle tool and let's make shape layer like this clearization tool and move to here change name one okay and let's hold control double click this icon for move to anchor point center then click session tool and let's go to again shape layers let's create ellipse tool and hold shift make one ellipse click session tool move to here and change shape layer name to and finally go to here, let's create star tool and hold shift, make star like this, click session tool and move to here and change shape layer 3 okay so, let's select the shape layer 1 and go to fill, let's select eyedropper icon select this blue color, click ok and let's go to stroke, click here select this eyedropper, select this dark blue for shadow Click OK. Let's see. OK. And let's change stroke with 1. Select layer 2 and let's move to anchor center. Again, hold control, double click here. Click session 2 and go to fill. Let's use this yellow. This is already that's some colors. And stroke. OK, and stroke with 1 Select layer 3 And let's hold control, double click pan behind icon Move to anchor point center Click session 2 and go to fill Let's use this pink color And stroke Use dark pink Click OK So let's right mouse, go to composition settings Go to 3D render And change cinema 4D Click OK, select the three layers, click this checkbox for three layers. And let's select this color, let's delete. OK, let's change view one. And let's see. OK. And let's select this layer one. Let's zoom to here. Open inside. And open geometry options. And change extrusion deep. 50 okay let's change 35 okay nice and select the layer 2 open inside open geometry options change extrusion 25 and open layer 3 again geometry options change extrusion 10 or 50 or let's change 25 okay so close settings and back to active camera view and let's select this layer 1 let's press R let's change X rotation okay and change little bit Y rotation and Z rotation Okay, not bad. So select this layer and let's change view one and move to here and back to camera view. Select this layer, press R and change X rotation minus 80 and Y rotation 2 and Z rotation minus 55. And let's move it up. 
and move to here. Okay, let's change view again. Okay, let's move like this and move to up. Okay, let's back to active camera, select the star. Again, press R, change X rotation minus 80 and Y 2 and Z rotation minus 50. And let's move to up and move to here. Let's change view. Okay, let's move up like this. Okay, let's back to active camera. And let's move to here. And move to down. So, in this time, let's close rotation settings and select these three layers. And let's move to center. Okay. So right now again select all layers, let's move to up and select layer 1, press P. Okay, let's create new passing keyframe and go to 10 keyframe for shortcut. You can use hold shift, press page down in keyboard or click here, write plus 10 and click OK for go to 10 keyframe. So let's move to down. and go to 10 keyframe again let's click here right plus 10 click ok and select first keyframe let's copy pass select keyframes let's make easy let's see let's change quality quarter okay let's select keyframes hold alt move to right for slow animation okay Select again all chip frames, go to graph editor and select this graph. Let's make graph like this. Okay, not bad. So let's change last chip frame. Okay, not bad. And back to chip frame, let's select last chip frame, move to right for more smooth. Okay, so go to first second, select the layer 2 and let's change view top. Okay, let's move to center like this and change view 1. Okay, change active camera. And let's press P, make new passing keyframe and let's move to down like this and go to here. Move to down, go to last keyframe, select first keyframe, copy pass. Select keyframes, let's make easy, go to graph editor and let's make graph like this. Okay, so back to keyframes and select these three keyframes, let's move to right. Let's see. Okay, not bad. And select this shape frame. Let's move to here. And select this shape frame. Send the shape frame. Move to right. Okay, that's good. So select this layer star. Press P. Go to first second and let's move to down. Make new passing chip frame. Go to here. Move to down. And go to last chip frame. Select first chip frame. Copy pass. Select chip frames. Make easy. And let's move right these chip frames. And go to graph editor. Let's make graph like this.
Okay, not bad. And back to keyframes, let's select this layer 1 and let's hold shift press R, open rotation and make X rotation, go to here, chain rotation like this and go to back, select first keyframe, copy pass, select keyframes, make easiest. Okay, nice. And we can add Z rotation. Let's make keyframe. Go to here and change rotation like this. Or let's change like this. Okay, go to last keyframe, select first keyframe, copy pass, and make keyframes easy. Okay, nice, not bad. So, select this star layer, and in this time, let's hold shift press R, make X rotation and Y rotation, Z rotation. Go to here, chain rotation like this, and change more. Okay, and go to last keyframe, select first keyframes, copy pass, and make keyframes easy. Okay, not bad. Go to last keyframe, select work area for loop animation. Let's see. Okay, that's good. So thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe channel, like video and please follow me on Instagram. Good luck.